There we go. Okay. Hey there. What's going on? How are you doing today? I got a question for you. Okay. The question of the day. Um, are you wondering whether you should be cold messaging people about your business opportunity or should you be out there building rapport? Okay. And I'm going to dive right into that. But first, for those of you who do not know me, I'm Wendy Rahilly. I'm very passionate about helping other people uh, build a business online, make money online, so that they can turn around and create an amazing lifestyle for themselves. Okay? So, um, okay, what should we do? Should we build the rapport or should we just get straight to the point and cold message people? Now, this is something that many marketers are in big disagreement about, okay? Some say, absolutely, you should be out there building rapport. And others are out there saying, mm, you should be getting to the point, okay? So which is it? Which is the right way to do it? Actually, I've been taught both methods, okay? And I've actually used both methods. Now, I'm going to give you my take on both. Um, what I've been taught, you know, what I do... And you can take this information any way you want and do whatever you want with it. Okay, I'm just sharing with you what I, my experience. And you can do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay, sound fair? Good. All right, first of all, I don't discredit either one of them. Okay, but there is a right way to do uh, both of them. You can, st you can even do both of these the wrong way. Okay, so there's a right way and there's a wrong way to do either one of these methods. Okay. Now, first of all, um, I want to give you a little disclaimer here. I'm no expert in prospecting. I'm just sharing with you uh, what I've learned, what I've tried, my experience with it, and my opinion. Okay, I'm not telling anybody to do either or. I'm not telling anybody to do either or. That's your decision. Got it? All right. So let's tackle building rapport first. Okay. Now you have two types of prospects. You have network marketers and you have non-network marketers, okay? Now network marketers are a little bit trickier when it comes to prospecting. Um, they already have a home business and it's gonna be kind of hard to get them into your business, you know, to pull them out of their current business and get them signed up into your business unless they express that they're not happy with what they're currently doing and they're looking to transition into something different, okay? Um, and in order to see if they're happy or not with their current business, you got to build a little bit of rapport. Now, something you can promote to network marketers a little easier, aside from products, is network marketing training. And I can't, I can't think of anybody who's in a network marketing business who couldn't improve on their skills or who couldn't become better at it. Okay. Now take me for an example. Uh, along with my primary business, I'm also a part of an attraction marketing community where we help other network marketers um, build their business by helping them generate leads, uh, sales and signups, and attract people to them in their business. Okay. So this is my, you know, for this, for that particular thing, my main target audience is network marketers. And it's much easier to get them involved because they don't have to leave their current business, okay? They can actually, uh, it helps them build their current business. But I still got to build rapport with them, you know, to, to find out where their pain points are and what they're struggling with. So with network marketers, yes, absolutely, I say build rapport especially if you're trying to uh, get convert them into your business. Um, now, it's never in my intention to um, pull somebody out of a, a business that they're happy with and that they're building a, a nice solid team with. Um, but if they're not happy with what they're currently doing, sure, I would definitely uh, ask them if they're open to taking a look at what I'm doing, but not before I build rapport with them, all right? Besides, if you're out there sending cold messages to network marketers and you're telling them the whole, you know, I'm expanding my business in your local area, would you be open to taking a look at what I'm doing, you know, with the business project that I'm working on, they're just going to be on the other side of that message, shaking their head, rolling their eyes, maybe even laughing at you, thinking that you're just looking all sorts of foolish, okay? So other network marketers, definitely, you need to be building rapport. Okay, so... 
Uh, how about when you're prospecting non-network marketers? Now, this, this is where people might disagree with me, okay? And again, do whatever you want. I'm not trying to tell you to do one or the other. It's your decision. Um, but when it comes to non-network marketers, in my opinion, in my opinion, and what I've been taught, it, I believe it's better to just get right to the point as quickly as possible. And here's why, okay? Put yourself in their shoes, okay? They know nothing about the network marketing industry. They don't, they don't know about rapport building and building relationships and things like that, okay? All they know is there's some stranger up in their inbox chatting them up and, and they're just sitting there wondering who is this person, right? So um, if you're in their if you're in their box and you're telling them that their family, you know, they have a nice looking family or, or they have a sweet daughter or son or whatever, you know, or hey, you live in California, so do I, yay, you know that they're up there on the other end thinking, okay, what is up with this person, you know, what do they want? So. Um, you know, they might even think that you're a little stalkish too. You know, they just, they don't know. You know, so in this case, um, not when you're not, when you're marketing to non-network marketers, it's probably better for you just to get a little, you get to the point as quickly as possible and then go ahead and build some rapport afterward, you know, um, that way you're not looking all weird to them because they don't know what network, you know, about network marketers and building rapport and stuff like that. And, and so it's not normal for them to see strangers up in their inbox. It's just not. Um, now, this isn't to say that you can't give them some kind of compliment or, you know, find some common ground with them before you pop the question. Um, I'm just saying try to get that question out there as quickly as possible um, so that they, they know what you want, you know, and then you can go and build rapport after that. And, and again, I'm not saying spam your links either. Do not, oh God, no, do not sit, spam your, your home business opportunity with your links in their inbox at all okay basically what you're just doing is you're just sending them a message something like um hey debbie you know i know we don't know each other um but i wanted to reach out really quick to see if you keep your options open for other you know ways of making money um i'm building a home business online and i was just wondering if you'd be open to taking a look at what i'm doing if not no big deal you know or you know another good one would be something like the whole, you know, hey, Debbie, I, I know we don't know each other, um, but, you know, I'm looking to, you know, or I, I see you live in, I don't know, wherever they live, and I'm looking to expand my business there, and you may or may not be open, but I was wondering if you'd be open to taking a look at what it is that I do to make money from home. If not, no big deal, you know, get their answer, and then go ahead and build some rapport if you want, but just, you know, just, just let, get it out there, let them know right away what you want. So they're no longer wondering, you know, and then you can still be human after that. So I don't know. That's just me. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Do you totally disagree with me? Do, do some of you agree with me? I mean, what are your thoughts on this? Um, now, I've always been about building rapport. You know, I've always, that's, that's all I've ever done was just build rapport. But I've always just worked with other network marketers. You know, I've only started recently uh, expanding into working with non-network marketers. Um, so, and I've tried both methods with non-network marketers. And in my experience, they seem more receptive, more open when I kind of just get to the point, okay? So you decide with what you're comfortable with. If you don't like it, you don't got to do it, you know? I just wanted to share with you today, uh, and I hope it helps, you know? So there you have it. So anyway, for anybody who is, you know, I've been on the fence about starting a home business, um, I'm looking to work closely with three people this week. Uh, so if you've been wanting to start a home business, reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. Let's, you know, let's discuss your goals a little bit. See what, you know, what, what you're looking to accomplish. And let's, let's see if you're a good fit for what I, what I do. Um, and of course, if you currently have a home business and you, um, you're just struggling with some marketing or, you know, not, you're, you're not really generating leads, sales, or signups into your current business and you would like some help with that, totally reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. I will show you that whole attraction marketing community that I was just talking about and you can see if that can maybe help you with your current business, okay? So um, reach out to me either way. Let's have a conversation. 
I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch, you know, tune into me and watch my video. I hope this helps. Um, and I will see you on another video. You take care.